I think working on the trading floor was a wonderful opportunity and I truly, you know, I'm grateful and humble and, you know, it was a great experience. Me being the only female on the floor, I didn't honestly notice or even think in my head or have any insecurities. I never, it just never crossed my mind. Again, for me, I just wanted to do well on my job. Yeah. Who is it that I can align with that will help facilitate this? And again, I was just so caught up in wanting to learn and, and better myself within the role that, you know, oftentimes I was, you know, go around asking, you know, thousand and one questions. So it just never, there was never a moment in my mind where I needed to pause and say, oh, I'm a woman and I'm a woman of color and I'm in a room with literally all white men. <laughs> yeah. Should I feel some type of way? Um, no, you just did your job. That's amazing. I, yeah. I did my job, but also Richard Rosenblatt, um, the head of Rosenblatt Securities, he did have a conversation with me day one of my job and he pulled me you know, into his office and he said, you know, let's address the elephant in the room. There aren't that many women down on the trading floor. And I just want you to know it is open door policy. If, you know, anything is to happen to you, you come to me immediately. And Richard Rosenblatt Mm -hmm. started off on the trading floor as a broker and then through years and decades, you know, built his own firm. So he's well respected on the trading floor. And so to be able to have that from the moment I entered into that building, to have that open conversation and to address that. And him, he is still to this day a mentor to me and very much an ally of mine and very much believes in my vision. I, you know, had that support from the get go. And I I think that also helped with, again, not looking at my own otherness or own insecurities as far as being in a space where I was the other in the room and, and using that as a crutch 